Hey guys, can you guys hear me? Please let me know if you guys can hear me. I can see my screen is moving. That means my microphone is going. Yeah, yeah so we do have it there. All right, so let's see. All right, guys, so okay, so let's begin. You guys are ready to go? Let's begin our stream for today. Thank you so much for being here on the live. And it is my pleasure to have you. It is my pleasure to have you. Thank you for being here. It is my pleasure to have you. Okay, so we're just going to share out the live. We'll make sure that we got other persons joining us. Um, okay. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining the live. At this point, we are going to begin our session for tonight or today. So thank you so much for joining the live, everyone. It is good to have you and we are going to begin our session for tonight or today. If you are experiencing daytime, type daytime in our comment section. If you are experiencing nighttime, go ahead and just type nighttime in our comment section. Let me say thank you so much for being here for this reading session. And remember, we are going to read English. Yes, let's learn to read English. And I know it can be a bit difficult sometimes. However, with practice, you would do extremely well. So all we need to do is just to keep on practicing. So that's what we're going to be doing now. We are going to be practicing how to read in English. So in our last session, we did this song. A and I together. And we said when we have A and I together, it makes the song the A. So this word, we can call it very quickly, A, M, AIM. Our word here is AIM, AIM. And we said that when you aim at something, you're pointing at it. Our next word, we can highlight the A and I because we already know what song it makes. We said that the A and I makes the song A. So here we can call this word R -A -L, rail. Then we can go to our next word. And before we do that, rail is a bar that you can hold on to. It is a bar that is um, connected maybe to a wall or um, it is sturdy in the ground. We call it a rail. Next one, we can highlight our song A and I together A. 
Okay, we see p, p, and in, plain. So our word here is plain. If we put P and L together, we have P, A and I, A. We add the N sound, N, plain, plain. All right, let's go to our next word. Here we add A and I. We say A. So we can begin from the D sound. D, A, D, S, E, Daisy. Remember, Y at the end can make two songs. We can hear I or we can hear E. In this one, we are hearing E. Hence, we call the Y song E at the end. Our next word is R. The R makes the song R. We can see our a and I together here making A. And when we add the N song, we have N. So together in that word, we would say R A N rain, rain. So this word is rain. Our next word here is Gr. G and R together, we have G and R, G, R. Put them together, we have G. Then our A and I, A, N, G, A, N, Grain. All right, so you're doing very well. Let's go to our next word. We can see the A and I, A. Also, we can see a word that we have just done. Our first word, our beginning word, here's the word. If you can remember this word, this part of the word right here, aim. So we just call that word right here, aim. So now let's add the CNL song together. We blend CNL. Mm. Mm. Put them together, we have Koo. Koo. What is our, our song? Koo. Koo. Aim. Koo. Aim. Claim. So this word is claim. 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 And we know what it means to claim something. All right? Yes, we know what it means to clear something. Hold a while. Our screen. Um, sorry, we just um, lost our screen. Let's um, go back to it. Hold on. Let's go back to it. The screen, we have to do it now. Present as well. Wow. Share our window. Share. All right. So I guess we can put it in the present as well. Okay. So we are back now to our whole screen. So sorry about that. I am not so sure exactly what went wrong a while ago. Anyhow, so let's go to our next slide. So these were the words that we... Hold on. Our next slide... Is this slide?
see if we shared our entire screen remote. How oh, it's made of that's nice. on our presentation room. And see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so there we have it, guys. So now we are actually using the better mode, which is our presenters mode. And I'm happy that we are able to do this. All right, guys. So let's get now to the words in sentences. So last time we studied the words in sentences. And we were able to do this sentence. So today we are going to go on to a new sentence. Hopefully we can get two sentences completed with all the words with A and I song. So next time we can move on to another song and also review new words with the A and I song. All right. So I hope that you guys would want to do that next time. So let's get right into Song Lindy's words out again to just reinforce them. And then we will go on to the next sentence. Okay, so what we are going to do now, we are going to sound these words out again, just to reinforce what we did last time, to see how much you remember, and if you're actually able to read it on your own now, then we'll go on to our new sentence. Okay, so last time we did some sight words along with the AI words. We're going to review the AI words first and then go into the sight words. So let's go. This one is the first one we're going to look at. SNH together makes the song shh. The AI says A. Let's put them together. Shh. A, sh, a, she, she. Let's go to our next AI word. We just finished this one. So this is one that you should know. Let's review it. D, A, S, E. Daisy. Good. We are doing well. How about this one? Hmm. Let's put it together. Sn. 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 A. Sne. Sne. Snail, snail, snail. Remember, we also said that we can see a small word in snail. And that small word is nail, nail, nail. Also, A-I-L is a word. Ail, ail. Ail. So we just had three words, three words. Okay, let's look at this word now. And this one should be very quick. R, A, N, Rain, Rain. Good. And our final one, P and L together. Plane, 
plain. Good, plain. That's awesome. So now let's call all the words. We are going to see if you can call them all. Let's just erase them to see how well you can call them. One by one, that's how we are going to call them. So I would circle the words and you would call them. That's to see how well you remember. This one. Daisy. Ah, good. This one. Shay. Shay. Good. How about this one? Plain. Plain. This one. Rain. Rain. And this one. Snail. Snail. Good. So now that we know the words with A, let's go ahead and we are going to look at the sight words because we know the words with A. And remember, we are going through this a bit quick because we have more to learn because we have already done these. All right. We have more to learn. We have already done these. So let's take a look at our sight word now. Our sight word here, we can see the rhyme at, at, at. We add s to it. We have s at, sat, sat. And this is the past tense for the word sit. Past tense for the word sit. So it means that you have done it before. So you would say that I sat but it is the past tense for the word sit. In sit, we can see the small word it. Good. N, E and X together, we hear E, and their X make the song X. So we hear X, 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 X. Then we hear the T make the song T. Put it all together now. Next, next, next. What is a word? Next. And next, it is a position. Like you can say, I am next to the boy. I am next to the store. It can also be used when you are talking about something that would come that would come in a sequence. So you can say, this will come next. Something that follows, you say, it's next. All right, our next word, or oh, at the end, we can hear O, oh, we can hear OW, or we can hear O. In this one, we're hearing O. O Two O's together can make that song O, oh, and you also can make that song O. So here, that is why we have all these, because all these three variations, these three different graphemes, we can hear them say O. We can hear O by itself saying O at the end of words. We can hear two O's together say O. We can hear O and you together also making the song O. Okay, so we are doing well. Good, you're doing well? Yes, we are doing well. So this word says t, u, t, u, tu. And our next word, ah, ah. A lot of us, when we're reading, we say a instead of saying ah. That can be fine too. However, A is mainly used for something that you want to put a lot of stress on or emphasis on. Okay? All right. So let's now go ahead and read our first sentence. And remember, this is just our review. 
from what we did last time. So if you want to hear, it's just to help you to learn the words. And we have a previous live with it, so you can go ahead and look at that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and read now. She sat next to a daisy. Let's try reading it faster. She sat next to a daisy. Let's try reading it even faster. You ready to go now? She sat next to a daisy. So here we can read, she sat next to a daisy. Very good. So if you can do that now, that means you are doing very well. Let's go ahead now and learn our, well, review. Let's go ahead and review our second part. A and N together give us the rhyme A, N, AN. We add the D sound. We have the word AND, AND, AND. A, S and N together again. S, N, S, N, S, N, A, S, N, U. Snail, snail. Or remember, because ale is a word by itself, you could just say ale and then say sn, sn, ale, snail. That can also make it easier for you to call the word if you do not know it. I makes the sound e. N makes the sound n. Put them together. E. N, a, n, in, 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 in. And that would mean that you're in an enclosed area. When you're in, it means that you have a surround, something that surrounds you. Okay. T and H together makes the song d, the Hard song in this word, we hear d, and then the e makes a schwa song, a uh, puff of air. So you just say a, uh, d, a, uh, d, a, uh, d. This word says d. It can also say d. However, it's only going to say d when it comes before a word that begins with a vowel sound, whether it's an A song, an I song, an E song, an O, U, O song, a U song, or a Y song that sounds like a vowel. So that's when Y is saying I or E. Okay? Good. So, the and our next word, R, A, N, rain. And here we can see our rhyme from right up here. At, at, at. So let's go ahead now and let's read this sentence. Let's go ahead and let's read this sentence. Let's see how well you remember the words. Are you ready to read? Let's go. And a snail in the rain at. Let's read it one more time. A bit faster. And a snail in the rain at. Let's try to go very fast now. 
and a snail in the rain at. Good. And our final line for this sentence, let's go. N, two O's together can say O or O. In this one, we hear O. N, O, N. Noon, 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 or oh, mm, or oh, mm, on, 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 on. Remember this word? T and H in it. The. And the schwa sound, uh. So we hear d, uh, d, uh, d, d. Our next word, uh, uh. Put them together, we have p, uh, a, n. Let's read it now. P, uh, a, n. P, in plain plain all right so let's read this part from the top let's go i'm sure that you'll do very well noon on the plane let's read it again noon on the plane. Faster now, let's go. Noon on the plane. Very good. Let's now read from the top. Let's see how much of it you remember. So we are going to be reading right from the top. If you're ready to go, let's do it. She sat next to a daisy and a snail in the rain at noon on the plain. Good. Let's do this again one more time. I'm sure that you can. And you will do it because you got it. You got this. Let's go. Let's do it at a faster pace. She sat next to a daisy and a snail in the rain at noon on the plane. Very good. Awesome job. So let's try and answer some questions. Can you tell where she was sitting? Can you tell where she was sitting? Or where did she sit? Where did she sit? Can you find it? She sat next to a daisy and a snail. Where did she sit? Next to a daisy and a snail. In the rain at noon on the pale. Plane, sorry, plane. So she sat next to a daisy and a snail on a plane. That's where she sat. She sat next to a daisy and a snail on a plane. If you answer that, that is very good. 
How about who was next to she? Who was next to she? A daisy and a snail. A daisy and a snail. Very good. What time was she sitting on the plane? What time did she sit on the plane? Yeah, she sat on the plane at noon. <laughs> at noon and remember noon time is after lunch noon time is after lunch hence the reason we can add after to noon and we can get the big word after noon so we can add a and then t oh e and r together and we get the word afternoon. Good. So you just answered the questions. That was good. Let's now go to our next slide where we are going to learn to read a new sentence. So that was us reviewing our sentence from last time. Now let's read a new sentence. So when we look at this new sentence, I am sure that there are words here that you can recognize very well because we have done two words that are here in our first piece of writing that we did. In our first sentence, there are two words that are the same. Can you find those two words? Look, 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 and find the two words. All right, so I would help you. So here's one word. Can you remember that one? And here is another word. Good. Let's see if you can remember them. This one, it's an H together. Shh. A and I together. A. So we put it together, sh, a, she, sh, a, she, she. Now we are going to add s at the end to show that she. Here we have an apostrophe s. So let's see. She owns something here. Let's see what we would do when we put the S at the end. So when we put the S at the end, we are going to make the S song. She, S, she, S, she's, she's, she's. So this word is she's. We won't say she any longer because here we added an S. She's. All right, we learned this word. Can you remember this word? The A and I says A. The M says hmm. Put it together. A hmm. A hmm. Aim. Aim. And what does A mean again? It means to focus on something concentrate on something or it can mean to point at something good aim so she aim let's try this one now this is actually a sight word however we can also learn to song it out the W make the sound. The A makes the sound. Uh. So it makes a song like short U. 
we hear uh, w, uh. The s at the end it makes a song like z, like letter z. It says z. Let's now put it together. We hear w, uh, z, w, uh, z, was, was, was. So why it's good to remember that this is a sight word and to learn it by sight, it's because the songs at the end, the A song and the, the S song, they are not the regular songs. So once you remember it as a sight word, then you will be able to call this word anytime you meet it at all. All right? So was, was. All right, let's see if we can read now from the beginning because you know those three words. Let's see if we can read from the beginning. As you can see here, I have also left the songs for the A and the S so you can remember. So let's go. I'm just going to group these so you remember what to group. Remember A and I? A. Okay. So let's go ahead and read now. Sh, A, Sh. Let's add this song. Shays, Shays. A, M, Aim. W, Oz, Was. And you can remember this one. T. And the O at the end says U, U, T. U, t, U, two, two. All right, so let's see if we can read it from the beginning now. She's aim was two. One more time. She's aim was two. What was she's aim? Let's go ahead, read on to find out what was she's aim. In this word, when we look at it, we can see two E's. Two E's together we can make the sound E, 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 E. We add the S, we have the sound S, E. E, S, E, C, C. This word is C. Which C do you think this word is? Is it the C, like the sea water? Or is it the C when you see with your eyes? Which C do you think it is? Is it your eyes? Or is it the sea, like the seawater? So this one is sea with your eyes. If you said sea with your eyes, then you are correct. Very good. So here we have the word sea. The sea, as in the seawater, it is the E and an A. It is an E along with an A making the song the E. But see with your eyes, we have two E's making the song E. All right? So next time you see them, you'll be able to tell the difference, right? So see with your eyes. Remember, it is two E's. And because it's two E's, you can say that they look like eyes. And that would help you to remember what this word is. Okay? Good. C, E, V, E, V, E, V. And then here, E and R is here, but we are not actually hearing R. 
We are not hearing er. We hear ev. Rrr. So here we are only hearing the R make the sound rrr. Ev. Rrr. And the Y at the end. Remember Y at the end can make two songs? Can you remind me what the songs are? What songs would we hear for Y at the end? Yes, we would hear E or I. So would we say every or would we say every? Which one should we use? Can you say ev? Remember, we, we are not hearing the E. The E here is not making any sound. E and R together, we know say er. Oh. But in this word, they are not coming together um, to say er. Oh. The E is silent and the R is making the sound. So we hear ev, r, e, every. Good. So if you chose the E, then you are correct because this word says every, not every. Good. Every. Every. Very good. Let's move on to the next word now. So our next word, we hear the L makes a song. L, put it together. Pl, pl, pl. Very good. So if you said pl, then you are correct. The A makes the sound A, 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 because the E is at the end and this E is silent. This E is silent. So we hear P, A, and the N makes the sound N. P, a play n plane. So here we have the pattern where the a, the vowel here makes a song, and the e is silent. So we have a split vowel digraph. That's where there's a letter in between both of them, and you can find a lot of words with that digraph. Plane. Just a while ago, we did plane with P L A I N. And now we are seeing a word that says plane that spells with A N E. Remember this plane, the one with the A I N, this is like a flat piece of land or a land feature the one with the or it can be when something does not have any pattern on it and this one is like the plane in the sky so this one here this is like the plane up in the sky plane our next word T and H together. We put our tongue between our teeth. Or do we say D? What song do we make? Do we put our tongue between our teeth to make the song for the T and H? Saying Or do we say D? Like the D song. Which one is it? Can you tell? All right. So in this one, we are going to use the D song. So we hear D. The TNH here is making the song D. D. And here is our rhyme that we did earlier in the word. Can you remember the word sat? Yeah. We did this rhyme at. And we also did it by itself as a word, at. 
So this word, we say d, at, d, at, d, at, that, that, that. Good job. Very good. Now, let's read from the top. See every plane that. Let's read it one more time at a faster pace. See every plane that. Faster now. Let's see how fast we can go. See every plane that. Good job. Let's see if you can remember those at the top. So we read from the top. We are going to read. Shay's aim was to see every plane that. Let's read it one more time at a faster pace. Shay's aim was to see every plane that. Good. Let's see how fast you can go now. So now we are going to do it faster. Faster. To ensure that you know all the words. Shay's aim was to see every plane that. Let's go again. Shay's aim was to see every plane that. Good job. So we have two more words on this slide to cover. So we are going to look at this word. When we look at it, we're going to leave the ED song because the ED is a um, inflectional ending. So it's an ending that we have to learn. So we'll just leave the ED and we're going to call the first part of the word. Then we would decide which song we would use for the ED. Okay? So ED makes four songs. But the ending part of it, it makes three songs. So the, the ending part can say D, making the song D. It can make the song T, or it can make the song ID. So we have to decide which one we are going to use. So ED can make the song. What songs did we say ED can make? I want you to say them to see how well you know them. So we said ED can make the song D. That's the D song. It can make the song T. That's the T song. Or it can make the song ID. ID. The ED song, which is the next song, this is for words where ED is at the beginning of the word or in the middle of the word okay the ending you do not use you do not say ed you say id so like words like education or teddy those words we hear ed when it's at the beginning or when it's in the middle of the word once it comes at the end of the word we call it an ending to be specific we call it an inflectional ending so that's why we can separate it from our word because we have to know our words well in order to know which one to use. All right? So there are rules when using them. When the word ends with letters like S, letters like X or CH, SH, and O, those letters you would use the t song you would use the t song which is the t song when the word ends with t or d 
then you would use the id song. T or D, you use id song. When the word ends with other letters, all the other letters, like ha, um, what we would say, more hard songs or voice songs, like N and um, songs like D. All those, no, sorry, not D. Remember D and T, you're going to use it for those. But what's um, those like N, um, where you can actually hear the song, the hard song, those you would actually use the D song, okay? Good. So it demands practice. And remember when I said the word ends with that, it means this part of the word. So the last song before the ED song. The last song before the ED song. That's what we are actually talking about. When we say when the word ends with that song, that's when you would decide which song to use for the ED. Right? So the last song before the ED. Not the last letter because you cannot say it's the last letter. Because like words that ends with E. E sometimes will be silent. So you will not hear the E as the last song. So with that, you would have to decide what to use instead of, oops, sorry about that. Instead of um, using just any random um, letters. Okay, so let's song out the word. So we hear A, A, Pa. Pa, two S together, we make only one song because they make the same song. Whenever two letters make the same song, we make only one song. So we hear S. Let's put it all together now. A, pa, s, pass, pass, pass. Okay, so our word there is pass. When we say pass, the last song that we hear is a soft song. And because we hear the soft song, remember when we hear those soft songs like sh and ch and k and t. All those songs, we are going to use the t song. We're going to use the t song. So which song should we use now? The t song. So we say past, past, past. We cannot say pasted and we cannot say passed. Instead, we say past. So hence, we're going to use the t song. So we cannot use the d, nor can we use the ed past. Good. So I hope that is something that you would learn because we know a lot of times we sometimes call these words incorrectly, words that ends with ed. Yes, a lot of times we have um a lot of mistakes with ed words. Okay, what does the word past means? Pass. Pass. So what does it mean to pass? Okay, so pass means that you're moving. So you move or when you cause something to move. It can also mean to go across, or it can mean to leave something behind. It can mean to go. It can mean to, um, what's another word? Maybe we can say to proceed or to move ahead. Yeah. 
So that's what pass means. Also, you can use pass like when you are talking about your grades. You can say you have passed your exam. That means that you did well. That means that you are able to move ahead from what you were studying or what you were doing. And then our final word is b. Why at the end we hear i, b, i, bye, bye, bye. So in this one, the y at the end makes the i sound, not e. Remember, y at the end can make two songs, i or e. In this one, we're hearing i, b, i, bye. And most small words with Y at the end, they would say I. When it's a two-letter word, most of them would say I when they have Y at the end. All right, so let's see how much of these words you remember. Let's see how much of these words you remember. Remember, at the end, I'm going to put the worksheet for you to complete in the chat. So you would go ahead and complete the worksheet that I would put in the chat. Now we're going to read to see if you remember all the words. First, we're going to read very slowly. Then we are going to pick up our speed by reading a bit faster. She's aim was to see every plane that passed by. Let's go ahead and read it again. One more time. She's aim was to see every plane that passed by. Okay, now we are going to take it a bit faster. That is to ensure that you have learned the words. She's aim was to see every plane that passed by. Let's take it a bit faster to see how well we can master it. She's aim was to see every plane that passed by. Good. Try and read it on your own now. So you would try to read it on your own. Let's see if you can read it on your own. Okay, so you just tried reading it on your own. Let's, let's go now again. She's aim was to see every plane that passed by. Let's go quickly now one more time. Want to go very quickly now. Let's do that. She's aim was to see every plane that passed by. Good. So if I ask the question, what was she's aim? What was she's aim? What would you say? If I ask the question, what was Shay's aim? What would you say? So you can go ahead and you can type in the comment section what you think Shay's aim was based on the story. What was Shay's aim? Also, please give the live a like. That would 
be very good for you to give the live a like. What was Shay's aim? So we can see it here. If we are to answer in a um, sentence, we can say Shay's aim was to see every plane that passed by. So we know that she wanted to see all the plane that was passing by. She wanted to see all the plane that passed by. How, did, how do we know that she wanted to see all of them? That's because it says that she wanted to see every. Because the word every was used, then we know that she wanted to see all of the plane okay good very good so can you remember which word says past let's see if you can find past because we have two words there with p which one is past this one very good remember the word is past remember the ed makes the song t in this word past past good job and this one is p the a say a n and the e at the end is silent clean and you have to make sure that you make the a sound a long song good very good so now let's move to our final part to read after which I am going to put the worksheet in the chat. You can go ahead and complete the worksheet. If it's too much for you to complete now, you can always complete it at a later time. I would put it in the description box so you guys can go there or I would, I would pin it in the comment section so you guys can go there and access the worksheet. But without further delay, let's go ahead. So we're looking for the A words. Here is one. Here is another. Remember, A and I is the A song that we are looking for in all the words with A. Those are the words that we have done. A. So we can find all the A words first. Because those were our main words that we were studying. Very good. So we found them all. So now that we have found those words, it means that when we see them, we should be able to read through them very quickly because we have already learned them. All right. So all the other words are our sight words. So we're just going to learn our sight words. Okay. Remember we said, so let's start reading. Shh. A, A and I together, A. So we hear the S and A, it says, sh, the A and I, A. We say, she, she. In this word, our next word, the E here is silent. When E is at the end, E is silent in a lot of words when it's at the end. And then you have a vowel that comes before a consonant there. That vowel, a lot of times, it would call its own name. Not in every word that it does that, but a lot of times it does call its own name. So instead of us hearing A, ah, we would hear A. We would hear A. So here we can hear A, A. It, 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 and that's all we can hear there. It. Remember, we are not hearing the E song, so we only hear it, it, it. So you're going to tell me which it is this it? Is it like number eight, or is it it like um? when you eat something the past tense for eating so it means that you have already done the eating 
is it that type of it like you eat something or is it it like the number eight which one is it so this eight is like when you eat something so let's say you have a bowl of um porridge so this is when you eat something so it's a past tense for eat eat is the present tense and it is the past tense which means it has already happened so she it can you remember our ai word here G says G, R says R, put it together, G, R, A, G, R, A, N, G, R, A, N, G, R, A, N, A word is G, R, A, N, so we have to add the S sound, the S at the end, G, R, A, N, Grains, grains. So it means that we have more than one grains. W, w H, the W makes the song and the H is silent. So we hear W. Here we are going to apply that same concept. The E at the end is silent and we hear the vowel. That comes before the consonant, call its name. So the I is going to make the song I. So we hear I, and the L would say L. So let's go together. W. I, L. Three songs only. The WH is like one song because the H is silent. The W is making the song. So we hear w, 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 w. I'll, w, I'll, while, while, while. All right. Let's now go ahead and read this whole line. Let's practice reading the line. She ate grains while. One more time. Let's practice one more time. She ate grains while. Very good. All right, let's go down to our next set of words. The H makes a song. We can spot a small word here. What is a small word? The O makes a song. O. Along with the L, we hear O. O. And then D. Old. 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 So this small word is old let's add the song for h to it old oh sorry old hold hold so this word is hold now what song does ing make together the i makes a song e the n makes a song n so there we hear a, n, a, n, ing. And then we can say the n and the g together makes a song n, g, n, g. Because we want to put n and g together as an ending consonant digraph. So together they blend to make the song. Ng, ng. 
Okay? So let's go. The I makes the song the A. The N makes the song N. The G makes the song G. But we're putting the N and G song together to say N. G. N. G. N. G. So let's put it together. Ing. 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 Let's put the two words together now. Hold. Ing. Not the two words, the two parts, sorry. Because ing, it's the ending for words. Hold. Ing. Holding. 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 Okay, you guys are doing well. We did this word earlier and also this one and this one. So these are three words that we should remember from what we did earlier. This one says oh, mm, on, on. And by now we should learn this word because we have already done it before. On. This one, t, the O makes a sound oo, t, oo, t, oo, two. Two. Ah. So let's see now. What is this one with the A sound? Remember the R is making the sound. Rrr. The R is making the sound. Rrr. And the A is making the sound. E. And the L is making the sound. Rrr. Let's put it together. R -l. R -l. Rail. 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 So let's practice to read that part. Let's practice to read that part. Let's see if you can read it. Holding on to a rail. Let's practice one more time. Holding on to a rail. Good job. Very good. Let's read from the top now. To see if we can read that whole part, that whole sentence together. She ate grains while holding on to a rail. Let's read it one more time. She ate grains while holding on to a rail. Let's try to go a bit faster now. Faster now. Faster. She ate grains while Holding on to a rail. Let's try a bit faster now. She ate grains while holding on to a rail. We're doing well. Let's do it one more time. She ate grains while holding on to a rail. That's good. You did very well. Now we have one more sentence to cover. So let's go ahead and cover that sentence. In that sentence, we can see a word that we have also done before. We have done this word. Can you remember what this word is? Remember we said you can sum it out, but you have to learn 
the songs for it that they are not regular songs. Only the first letter makes the regular song. The W says W. The U, the A says U, uh, making a short U song. And the S makes a song like Z. So we hear S. Right? So let's put it together. When we put it together, what do we get? We get the word W. Uh, z, w, uz, w, uz, was, was. That's what we get when we put it together. Okay, we get the word was. Was. All right, so let's see if we can call all the other words now. S and H together, we already know that song from the word she. Let's say she. What song do we hear at the beginning, just like this word begins with? Sh. S and H together, we hear sh. 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 And the E at the end call its own name. So we hear E. E. Let's put the two songs together. Sh, e, sh, e. And note in small words, like two letter words or three letter words, when e is at the end of that word, a lot of times, that e without another vowel, that e would make the song e, calling its own name. So this word says sh, e, sh, e. She, she. Next one. Remember, we have the A song, A and I, A. Mm. Put this part together. We have aim, aim. Let's add the CNL together to it. So CNL together, we hear k, uh, k, uh. Clue, clue, aim, clue, aim, claim, claim, claim. All right, I says e, t says t. Put them together, we hear it, it, it. It. All right, our next word was, w, us, was. Good job. Our next word here, the H makes a song. We hear the E and R saying, er, uh. Oh, 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 what is this word? Oh, oh, our next word, b, e, s and t, we yes. Blend them together, we hear st, st. Let's put all three songs. B, E, st, B, E, st, B, E, st, best, best. Next one, D. A and Y together makes the song A, A. The A is making the song, the Y is silent, okay? Because in this word, the Y would act like a vowel because the Y is at the end. So, here we'll hear the Y say, 
E or I. But we are using the rule that when the two vowels are together, the first one makes a song and the second one stays silent. Remember that rule is not constant. That the second one can make the song, first one stays silent. Or in some words, both of them can make the song. So here we have A, A, D, A, D, A, D, A, D, A, D. This word says day. And this word is like today. Or on which day did you do the work? Day. And our final word, air, ev. In this one, we are going to hear the ER together saying er. Ev, uh, ever, ever. Remember, we did one where we did ev, and then we did er, and the y at the end saying e. So the e here was silent because the e and r here, the r was making the song. So we hear ev, er. E, every. In this one, that one says every. So what you can learn is that when the Y is at the end of it, that's when you're going to hear every, because remember the Y makes a song like E. At the end, in this one, the one without the E says ev or ever. So you can just learn the one without the E. That's where you hear the O uh song. Without the Y, sorry, at the end, that's where you hear the O uh song. Ever. And the one with the Y says every. And that would definitely help you in learning the difference between them. Good. So now we're going to read from the top. Let's see how much you remember. Let's see how much you remember. Oh, we'll read this last sentence first, then we'll read from the top, okay? Let's just practice this last sentence, and then we'll read from the top. Let's go. She claim it was a best Day ever. Let's read it one more time. She claim it was her best day ever. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and let's read from the top. She ate grains while holding on to a rail. She claimed it was her best day ever. Let's try to read it a bit faster now. Let's try to read it a bit faster. That's to see how well we have learned it. She ate grains while holding on to a rail. She claimed it was her best day ever. One more time. She 
eight grains while holding on to a rail. She claimed it was her best day ever. All right, let's read it quickly now. Quickly. And then we'll find some words. Ready to go? Let's go. She ate grains while holding on to a grill. She claimed it was her best day ever. Good job. One more time. She ate grains while holding on to a reel. She claimed it was her best day ever. Very good. All right, let's see some words now. If you remember the words, so we're going to circle words one by one. Let's see. Find the word best. Here's the word best. Find the word eight. And remember, eight here is like the past tense for eat. That's the word eight. Find the word ever. This word says ever. Find the word while. This word says while. Find the word holding. This word says holding. Remember, we can see the word old in it. And ing, I-N-G, making the song ing. Find the word she. This word says she. Find the word day. This word says day. Find the word grains. This one says grains. Find the word was. This one says was. Find the word real. This one says real. Find the word claim. This one says claim. Find the word her. This one says her. Find the word to. This one says to. Find the word on. This one says on. Find the word she. This one says she. Find the word it. This one says it. And find the word a uh, or a. E. This one says a uh, or a. E. Good. That was super. So it means that we have mastered all the words. So now we can go ahead and erase them. And then it means that we can read our story from the top. Right? So we'll just practice to read it from the top now. And then we would finish right there. Remember, I would pin the worksheet in the comment section. And I'll, I would also put it in box for you in the description box. And in the chat so you guys can look there for it. Okay? All right. So if you're still here reading, we're going to um, just read from our first um part of the story that is just to have you practice the words one more time and see how much you're able to remember from all the words that we have done so let's begin she sat next to a daisy and a snail in the rain at noon 
on the plane. Shay's aim was to see every plane that passed by. She ate grains while holding on to a rail. She claimed it was her best day ever. All right, let's now read it one more time. This time we are going faster. Okay. She sat next to a daisy and a snail in the rain at noon on the plain. Shay's aim was to see every plane that passed by. Shay ate grains while holding on to a rail. She claimed it was her best day ever. Good job! You guys did an awesome job. So at this time, I am going to pin that worksheet in the comment section. And I'm also going to share it with you. So you can have the worksheet so that you can practice it. So let's. See the worksheet. Let's get it, Ghana, so you can practice. Here is the worksheet. So you guys can practice the worksheet. That would be good for you to practice. <laughs> Somebody was saying hi. I did not see this person who was saying hi. Shia. Oh, hi, Shia. How are you? I am so sorry. I only saw it at this time. My apologies to you, Shia. I'm so, so sorry. Guys, it was really good reading with you. And here is the worksheet posted in the comment section. You can go to it and practice the worksheet. I would also put it in the description and also as a comment on the chat so you guys can check it out and complete the worksheet. All right, it would be nice to see your responses as in to see um, how well you guys are able to master these concepts now that we have practiced them and i hope that next time we meet you'll be able to read the words just as we have practiced so please go back to the videos and keep practicing this would help you a lot in your reading and that's what you want. You want to improve your reading. You want to ensure that you get lots of practice. Okay. So important point. The practice. Please practice. Remember, the worksheet is in the comment section. That's where I'm going to post it for you. Um, so I'll put it above. Sorry, in the description, I'll put it above everything there. Um, sheet. So it's there where you can read it. Worksheet. 
So you'll see it as um, AI worksheet. Um, vowel song. Okay, so do your best to practice. And save it and we have it there okay so you have it right there um, to practice please practice it um guys so i just need to go on the live so i can put it in the comments Okay, guys, so thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sticking around. Those of you who stick around until the end, it was good spending time with you guys reading. And I encourage you to just keep practicing, keep improving, and just keep blooming in love. So I'll see you guys on our next session. Our next session will be a bit earlier. And Take care. Until then.
God bless and see you guys. God's willing. Take care now.